Hey guys, Scott here. Today I want to talk about a common argument that is used by usually killers to defend certain things in the game. And it's this whole like relationship of math where they'll say, you know, X percent of a generator is done. That means, you know, X percent of the game is done and they'll try to like equate it to the entire game as a whole. Usually this is done in relation to defending perks like eruption which I think most people will agree needs a bit of a tweak because it's kind of just too strong against solo queue. Um, and, you know, we just need a little bit of a tweak. And killers will use this argument to defend things like eruption, saying that they need stuff like that because the progression of survivors is too strong. And I see this every single day because I go to Reddit and I read forums because, again, I'm a stupid, stupid person. But comments like this, I see this every single day. Um, and they'll say like, you hook a survivor at one twelfth of your objective is done. Survivor finishes your gen one fifth of their objective is done. Um, and I see this so, so often. And it's the same dumb argument in my opinion, every time, no offense to the person that I'm quoting here. I try to block out their name. Um, but it's just a very, very silly argument. And I want to go over why it's so silly. So first of all, not even just going into the actual analysis and math of it. Let's look at the actual base things that they're saying. One twelfth of your objective is done. If you hook a survivor. That implies that your objective as killer is to hook 12 people, which it's not. It's to kill four people. That can be from anywhere between four and 12 hooks. You don't need to hook people 12 times. In fact, I rarely get 12 hooks. That's actually pretty damn hard to do. Running only like one or two slowdowns, getting 12 hooks with a weaker killer is really, really hard to do. Sometimes impossible, depending on the map and the quality of survivors you're going against. So it's not even really something that I aspire to get to. If I get it, that's great. And I will try to, you know, work the match in such a way that that'll happen. But if I'm starting to, like, lose really bad, I, I can't afford to get 12 hooks. So what'll usually happen is one guy might be slugged for a while or one guy might go to second stage or, you know, they, there are other scenarios where really I'll more commonly end with, like, 9 or 10 hooks. So the objective of the killer is not to get 12 hooks. It's to kill four survivors. So immediately this whole argument just falls off because one twelfth of your objective, it's not really true. Technically, one hook can be one fourth of your objective if you play in like a sweaty kind of campy way. So again, that's not really great. That's not how the game should be, but that's how it currently is. And if we're talking about things like eruption, we need to talk about how the game currently is, not how the game should be. Again, I would love the game to be balanced for 12 folks and stuff like that, but it's just not. That's not how it currently is. So we, if we're talking about eruption, we need to talk about how the game actually is right now. The next part, one fifth of the objective is done. So as soon as you complete a generator, that's 20% of the progress needed to finish the match. But again, even that's not true if we look at that because it ignores the entire end game component, which with some builds can last as long as the entire match. So if you have like no way out, blood warden, all this stuff, that end game is like more than an entire additional generator. You can't just finish five gens and you all just instantly escape. So that ignores that whole end game aspect where the killer is arguably at their strongest, especially if they have things like Noah and stuff like that. So just straight away, these numbers already don't make any sense. But let's go into it even further. So these comparisons are made as a justification for fairly oppressive slowdown perks and things like that saying that they're necessary and so this is an argument based on time i think that's usually what they're going for right so basically the argument is eruption needs to exist because killers don't have enough time and survivors can do things too quickly and it can sure feel like that sometimes and i'm not really even super opposed to that whole ideology but the whole thing if we're making this an argument about time itself you need to realize that th this is not a linear game. The game does not just go like one generator, one generator, one generator, one generator, one generator. What it really does is it starts up really fast, like one, two, three, four generators, and then it really starts slowing down towards the end. Killer is at their absolute weakest at the start of their match, and that's how it's always been. And once they're down to a three gen, killer is by far at their strongest, to the point where if you have a super good slowdown build, that last generator can take twice as long as the previous four generators. So if you're trying to have a time comparison by just boiling a match down to just simple math and an asymmetric game, which doesn't work at all, it just completely falls apart because yes, you can get technically 80% of your objective done, but that's an irrelevant statistic if that 80% takes like less time than it takes to finish that last 20%. And that's usually what the argument is based off of. It's an argument of time, not of completion. And so if that last 20% can take as long as the first, you know, 80%, then with the, who, the argument makes no sense. There's just no point in even talking about it because 
that the game is still going to last a really long time. Again, I'm not saying there are matches where, you know, the gens aren't finished in four minutes because it does happen. And usually you'll notice when that does happen, it's either one of two things. A, you spent too long focusing one person and you couldn't stop anyone else from doing gens. Or B, you just get a really bad map like Red Forest and you physically can't get to generators to push people off of it. And look, we're all going to agree big maps like Red Forest are stupid. They shouldn't exist. And we've been asking for them to be shrunk for four or five years now. Um, so I'm not really defending that aspect of it, but I'm saying those are usually the only two times where you'll have a scenario like that. Again, not saying it doesn't happen, it does. But I just wanted to talk about this whole argument that I see every day. Um, you guys got to remember, it's an asymmetric game too. You can't compare one side's progress to the other because they have different objectives. If both sides were trying to kill each other, it would be a bit more apt, but that's not what's happening here. And the game does not flow in a linear fashion, so although... A technical completion percentage might be faster for Survivor. The actual time spent to finish that completion drastically changes as the map goes on longer and longer. And so that's why these arguments I find to be super silly. And that's pretty much it. I just want to talk about that. Thanks for watching. See ya.